Hey Taurus, how are you? Welcome to Karma Life Readings. I'm Alexandra. This is for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, mid-December through January 2022. We're going to be taking a look at what life lessons, situations you're currently going through and the message of spirit has for you. Um, Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, if I didn't say that already. If you're new here, welcome. Welcome, welcome. Please make sure you subscribe, hit the notification bell. I am a Taurus, Sun, and Moon as well. Um, what else? If at any time this reading resonates with you, go ahead and hit the like button so that other Taurus have the opportunity of seeing this reading as it does help with my algorithm. Um, if you're interested in a personal reading, in the description box below, you'll find two links. One for a one-hour phone reading. I have two appointments available Monday through Friday, 9 a.m. and 11 a.m. Pacific Standard Time um, in the U.S., and then you'll see an Etsy link that is for emailed readings or recorded readings, you know, different types of readings. And then below that, you'll find all the links for donations for the channel. They're much appreciated. This is my only source of income, so I do appreciate all of your donations. Um, but with that being said, my dears, let's go ahead and get started and see what messages Spirit has for you. Mother, Father, God, Divine Holy Spirit of the Most High, thank you for allowing me to be a clear channel of receiving messages for Taurus in regards to their current life situation, soul journey, and soul path. I ask that these messages provide clarity, guidance, healing, and understanding, as well as a higher knowledge of what karmic cycles and soul lessons Taurus may currently be going through, about to go through, need to become aware of, learn from, heal from, and release. Lord, and all that you are and all that you do, and all that I am, and all that I do, I live by your word and your word only. In Yeshua's name I pray, amen. All right, so let's take a look here. Taurus, spiritual messages of guidance for Taurus, please. Spiritual messages of guidance for Taurus, okay? All right. We have King, the Lord reigns forever and ever, Exodus 15, 18. And on the back you have, my Lord and King, I welcome you into my life. Please rule as King over all that I do, amen. And then you have Father, Luke 15, 20, our Father in heaven, hallowed be thy name or be your name. On the back, Father, thank you for showing us what real fatherly love looks like. Strengthen my identity as your child. I want to glorify your name with my life. Amen. Taurus. All right. Maybe you're dealing with an Aries or maybe you have Aries in your chart. They had this card as well. I just did their reading before yours. Um, I see that you have been wanting to shift, wanting to change. And we've seen that, you know, progression over time here on this channel as we've been doing your readings and I see that you're, you're at the point now where something is massively shifting and changing inside of you for this prayer, to, for spirit to give you this prayer. Father, thank you for showing us what real fatherly love looks like. Strengthen my identity as your child. I want to glorify your name with my life. So Taurus, I feel like you've been healing deep child wounds here for quite some time. And you're making such progress that now you're finally to that point of having released all of these darkness and addressing your demons from within that now they no longer control you. You control the darkness and you're bringing in light because you're strengthening who you are through your connection with God every day. And that's being validated to you right now. I see you having big plans for yourself. There's something that you're set out to accomplish. I feel like you're purposefully, let me say that word again to make sure you heard it, purposefully seeking out a testimony. You are fully tasked with the purpose of seeking out a testimony from God for your life to share with the world. And I think that's what's bringing you so much excitement and happiness. So let's see here. 
see what the light energy is coming in for Taurus, please, surrounding Taurus. What I say, faith. Faith. You are fully living your purpose when you seek out the truth and, and work on your faith with God. That's what you're doing. Everything's connected for you right now. You're you're in your you are where you are supposed to be and you know it. Success. Wow. This is so what we were just saying, right? You have something that you're wanting to accomplish here. You have something that you're wanting to accomplish here. You have faith in success. You want a testimony of your faith. It's coming, Taurus. It's coming. Your previous reading, I think, said that... I, I know I just did a reading for you about this person is teaching you about faith. Yes. Yes, they are. I feel like this is tying into that. There's something massive that is shifting. And I think that what's going on in your life, Taurus, is so big, so massive that you don't have any other choice but to just let go and let him do it, right? So let's see. Recent past, you have the three of wands. The Four of Cups, the Four of Swords. Currently, you have the King of Swords, the King of Cups, the Knight of Cups. In the future, you have the Seven of Wands, the Nine of Wands, and Temperance. Overall energy is the Ace of Rods. You have the Queen of Cups to the King. Judgment, Nine of Pentacles, Seven of Swords, Six of Swords, Page of Pentacles, Four of Wands. All right, there we go. This is, again, we're going back into faith here with the Ace of Rods being the overall energy for you, Taurus. This is about passion, forgiveness, new beginnings, taking action, recognizing the lesson in all things, recognizing the gift that's being given to you. These, yeah, judgment, queen of cups. There's some emotions here. There's, a, there's something that is shifting in the way that you've seen. There's a revelation taking place in regards to a situation. Three of Cups, four of, I'm sorry, Three of Wands, Four of Cups, Four of Swords in the recent past. Um, you had to, you were trying to map out your future in the recent past. You were trying to, you didn't know where to go. And I see you kind of on this journey, you were waiting for something. You were patiently waiting for something. Um, and I think there were times when you were getting fed up with waiting, you could see something for what it was or what it was supposed to, to bring you, if that makes sense. Um, but nothing was happening. There was no forward movement. And I do feel like there had been some negative experiences in the past and you chose to take a break. Yeah, and I have the Four of Swords on the bottom here. So there was a separation. Maybe you walked away from something, but there was a moment, there was a period of silence that was needed for you because you needed to go within, you needed to meditate and heal on some past heartbreaks here. Clarify this, please. Yeah, the hanged man. So definitely waiting. You you were becoming enlightened on something. Two of Pentacles that you weren't too sure about. Yeah, three of wands. Yeah, okay, here it is. You needed to know which direction to go. You didn't. You were kind of hemming and hawing on something. The emperor. You were trying to control. What's going on, Taurus? 
The Emperor, the Empress, Page of Pentacles, the Tower. You were waiting for somebody that you really wanted a victory with. This is you holding on, trying to have faith because you recognize what something was or is. But see, I think right now the energy of what the, that whatever this connection is here, this divine counterpart, it was bigger than the both of you at the time. That's why you have the Page of Pentacles. And so the separation in this waiting game is due to awakenings happening, okay? Because there were things that needed to be cleared out and healed. Currently, there's some type of emotional communication that is being expressed. I still feel like this, you have the King of Swords, the King of Cups, the Knight of Cups. Either you're dealing with three separate people, <laughs> which if you are, that's your business. Um, or you have two people that are giving you an offer or this is one person. That's just to give you more clarity. But let me explain to you what I'm seeing. There is two cups here regardless. There's some type of union that pulls at your heartstrings. There is a connection. And this person is very, very heavily looking at you, Taurus. And I don't think that you know that this person is looking at you. And I actually think you guys are mirroring each other because I think that you are very heavily, heavily looking at this person too with your heart. And they're blind to that. In fact, both of you feel like you're the only one that's in love. There is some communication I see coming in, but there's also an offer that you don't see coming in. I see like you guys are talking, things are going well, you know, you're trying to smooth things over. But there's still something that needs to be pulled out because I'm feeling a pain in my heart right now. So there's still some type of truth that has to come out. Clarify, please. Holy Spirit. The Knight of Wands. Yeah, very passionate. Wow, Ten of Wands and the Eight of Wands. Somebody wants to come towards you. They're very nervous about it. Here we go. You have a new beginning coming in. You have an offer coming in. Ace of Pentacles, Ace of Rods. Yes, after a period of separation from somebody. I feel like this took a long time coming, but that's because there were karmic cycles involved in this situation that needed to close out or that could only be addressed in isolation, meaning on your own, right? Not with anyone else there. Sorry, let me correct, fix that. Sometimes healing we need to do separately, okay? It doesn't mean that something's over, but I see somebody coming forward very unexpectedly. Even if you're communicating with them, you're not expecting when this message comes through. And it's about putting the burdens down. It's about shifting and keeping the past in the past. This person sparks feelings inside of you. I can feel that. You have the Seven of Wands, the Nine of Wands, and Temperance. <laughs> Something, I, this is divine intervention is what I'm seeing with this Temperance card. It's like, There was something that means so much to you that is so on fire for you. There's so much passion on this table. But yet I see two people completely like wanting so badly to be close to one another, but having so many boundaries and too many walls up that neither one of you could get through. Right? The Seven of Wands is like somebody's really putting their foot down on something and just, you know, there's like a defensive energy here. And they're defensive against something that could be really, really good. And then there's this other person who's, you know, wants this, knows it can be good. They know what you guys have been through. It's in the past. 
They want to move forward. They can't let go. They've tried to let go, but they're also coming in prepared for battle. So it's like they're not being fully vulnerable. They're expecting for something to go wrong. So you guys were constantly clashing and it all has to do with the trauma and fear from past hurts. And then all of a sudden the divine steps in and says, right, let's balance this out. We're going to, we're going to even this out here because the, the emotions and the feelings involved run deep. Clarify this, please, Holy Spirit. There's divine healing and intervention taking place. This could even be in regards to addictions or cycles of repetitive behaviors, toxic behaviors. Things are being washed away. The high priestess, the emperor, wow, and the lovers with the magician on the bottom and the king of swords. They're like, wow. Somebody's going to express some truth to you. They're going to take action and open up to you. There's something that's been hidden from you. And I feel like this emperor is going to connect to their heart space and their intuition and come in and want to heal this connection with you or compromise with you. And they're taking action by communicating to you the feelings that they have. By communicating the feelings that they have. Yeah. Yeah, this person watches you a lot. And they want to come forward towards you. So I see currently you are maybe in communication with this person. Um, I don't think this person has told you yet. But they will. If they already have, then that's validation for you. But I don't think you're aware because I'm seeing this action kind of come in out of nowhere and surprise you. And then right after that, there's some type of um, hidden motives that you're unaware of. And that is this person wants to be with you. There's a beautiful divine connection coming in and divine healing taking place in a soulmate connection that's been very prominent in your life for quite some time. And I feel like it's finally because somebody releases control and allows the divine to take over. It's like all of a sudden the walls come down here. That's where the divine intervention comes in. All right, Taurus, I'm sending you guys so much love. Bye.